What's up guys, Ronnie Cruz here, uh, coming to you from Saratoga Springs in uh, Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. Um, some of you might be saying, well, weren't you just in Florida or aren't you still in Florida? And the, the answer is yes, uh, we were just in Florida last week for the Star Wars celebration, Jason and I and um, uh, a few of our friends and fam. Um, we were down there geeking out. Um, and honestly, Jason and I had fully intended on shooting um, some videos for you guys, some more material. Uh, but we were well, well distracted with uh, with all things Star Wars. We were just geeking out all weekend to really get anything productive done. Um, uh, other than the videos that we shot that one night uh, waiting in line. Um, but I am back down here this weekend for the uh, Disney Half Marathon, which is a uh, Star Wars half marathon. So, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, but this weekend I'll have more time to actually devote to shooting um, some uh, some new material for you guys, uh, some new content. I have a lot of stuff that I actually wanted to cover. Um, I've, been, I've been, you know, on the on the road trip up and down from North Carolina, I've been having a chance to really just kind of jot down um, sp specific topics that I wanted to discuss um, in these uh, in these future episodes. So I'm going to get as much of that shot this weekend as possible, so we have the content flowing for you guys. Um, uh, and that's really the update. Also, uh, you know, I actually, in, uh, for this vlog, I just wanted to um, kind of touch on, uh, uh, follow up on last episode that I shot about um, self-imposed limitations, right? And what's your excuse? Um, we featured uh, our good friend Chris Ching on that episode and, and, and him being deaf, right? Uh, now for us, uh, hearing people, we may think of that or we may perceive that being deaf as a limitation right but for Chris it's just the way it is right like he doesn't see it as a limitation because it's just life right it's just how things are um, so that's kind of what how I want you guys to really look at look at these things uh, again limitations are self-imposed and it's all really a matter of how we perceive them right it's how we perceive things so if you if you kind of examine the struggles that you're going through in life Really, whether or not those struggles uh, or those circumstances, um, whether or not those things become the driving force for you to move forward and, and for you to kind of push and, and work uh, towards your goals, um, or, 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 you know, they become uh, the excuse that keeps you from actually achieving those goals, um, it all depends on, on how you think about them and how you perceive them. So what I want you guys to do is, is uh, you know, whenever you have time, when you ever have some quiet time, some, you know, uh, first time for some self-reflection, um, I want you to take out a piece of paper and write down all the things that you're struggling with in your business, right? All the things that you're, that, that you're going through in your life right now um, that, that you feel like might be uh, kind of getting in your way, right? Things that things that you feel like are are, are a, a hurdle to you moving forward in your in your business, and and you know you you moving for moving forward towards your goals, right? Um, uh, write those things down and, and take as long as you want, and really just kind of dig deep and 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 really be introspective and and, and get at some ver like some of the really core things that you feel like are holding you back. Then once you're done, I want you to look at that piece of paper and realize that. It's just words on a piece of paper, right? Like it's completely, completely neutral. And and whether those words are on those piece of paper, again, whether they move you closer to your towards your goal, whether they push you and they and, and they become the drive that you need to, to get you towards your goal, or whether they become the things that, that hold you back, whether they become the excuses. Um, that, that, that hold you from, uh, that keep you from achieving your goals, it's really up to you, right? It's really your decision. It's really your perception of those things, right? Like by themselves, it's just words on a piece of paper. It's completely, completely neutral. And it's whatever we assign to those words, whatever, whatever perception we assign to them, whatever we give them, that whatever meaning we give them, um, will determine whether or not uh, those things are going to hold us back or whether they're going to move us forward. So yeah, limitations are, are all are all self-imposed, man, and it's all how we perceive things, right? Um, so that's the message I wanted to leave with you guys. Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, lots more to come. Uh, again, I'm going to shoot a lot more episodes this weekend, and also uh, another piece of news is uh, we are uh, working on bringing on another trainer. 
um, uh, to the Dream Builders Club team. So that's very exciting. Hopefully she'll relent, um, but it's 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 taking some convincing. So um, I'll, I'll I'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, um, you know we're working on it uh, slowly. So hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to convince her to to, to hop on board with us because um, she provides a tremendous amount of value um, uh, with her experience, her wisdom, and 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 you know. Um, and also, so you guys uh, don't have to stare at uh, me and Jason's ugly faces all the time, right? Um, so yeah, anyways, with that, this is a long vlog. I will catch you guys soon. Um, uh, stay tuned for more episodes here at Dream Builders Club, alright? Alright, peace out.